We move back to our first case where we have had the slides and you see we submerge because of the low value of this implant here. This is the implant in area of the second premolar and you see there is not a lot of bone height available and you see that going up here is a 10 millimeter implant. And we go for the next reading time point. Now we heard already about this. Primary stability is pure mechanical stability by press fitting. And of course we have different factors influencing this. One is the remaining bone height at the implant site. When you have seven millimeters and you put in a 10 millimeter implant, it will have a much better stability. Bone density at the implant site. Then the surgical technique, of course. The clinician should be able to prepare a very precise bed. When he wiggles around with the drill, then of course there will be no stability at all. And it's the shape and the dimensions of the inserted implant. So the shape, conical shape can be an issue, or a tulip shape as we are using it. Large diameter is certainly better than small diameter implants, so I normally tend to go for white body implants because you have a large surface, uh, because in these areas often you can do that. 